Hi, I'm Belinda. Welcome to this instructional video. I'm going to have a look at Egyptian style hip drop lots and belly pushes. Before we start, please make sure that you're thoroughly warmed up. In particular, for this video, we're really going to be working your oblique muscles, which are the muscles running down the sides of your body. So please make sure you've warmed them up. Let's begin. I'm going to start by looking at the hip drop lock, Egyptian style. So because we are using Egyptian style, that means that our legs are going to be straight and we're going to be having our feet up on releve, up on the walls. So what we need to do is actually strengthen our legs so that we're okay with being up on releve. So before we start, I thought I'd show you some strengthening exercises you can use for that. So let's have a look. What I want you to do is go up onto the balls of your feet and then back down and then up and then down. Let's keep doing this for a few repetitions. Now if you do this for a little bit of time you might find that your calf muscles uh, start to tighten and cramp a little bit. So if that happens then what you can do is add an extra movement to this particular drill and you can bend your knees and that, that will help to lengthen or um, stretch out your calf muscle. Okay, so this is a very nice helpful exercise that you can use to help strengthen your legs for relevé technique. Because we're looking at hip technique, it can be really helpful to wear something to help highlight this horizontal area. So either wear a top that's a different colour to your pants, or you could wear a hip scalp. Anything that shows you this horizontal line, because we're going to be lifting and dropping our hips. So this can be very helpful when you're practising. Now, with the Egyptian style hip technique, what we do is we keep our legs straight, go up onto releve and I can lower my foot to have my hip drop. Lower the foot, lower the foot. Okay, so hopefully you can see by looking at my horizontal line here that my hips are changing level. So what we want to do is we want to make it smaller and accent it, really lock. Lock your hip when you're doing this. So try and keep your centre line, your centre axis, no sliding side to side. When your hip comes up, what you should be thinking is that it's connected to a little rope about here, your sternum, and your hip is coming up and your body is eating your hip. So think of your hip as coming inside your body. You should be feeling your oblique muscles here working. So just to remind you, your legs should be straight and what's happening is the level or the height of your heel is going up and down. So why don't I show you what this looks like from the side. Okay, so you can see that I'm nice and lifted, I'm on releve, up on the balls of my feet. My legs are relatively straight, but I haven't locked my knees, okay, because it's bad for your knees. So just tap them soft a little bit, relax them. Now I'm going to change my hips. You can see how my heels are moving. Okay, the, the height of my heels. So drop my hip, drop, drop, drop. Drop, 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 drop. Let me walk around so you can see. Drop, 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 drop. 
They are hip drops, Egyptian style. And quite often we will use these in traveling. So let's do a drill. my natural posture, my natural position, I don't push back because I don't want to compact my lower spine or make any problems there. So I've got my spine which is moving my pelvis here and I've also got my lower abdominals which are working to push out my belly or my stomach and I combine the two of those to create this movement. Apart from these muscles here, my bottom is also working here. What I do is when I tuck my pelvis underneath into what I call neutral position, so that means that my spine is nice and long here, and all I'm doing is I'm bringing my pelvis underneath to flatten my back here. So when I do this particular move, I'm squeezing my bottom at the same time as tucking my pelvis underneath. If your legs are straight, which they should be, if you're doing Egyptian style, then you should be able to find this position fairly easily. However, if you uh, have a plie, if you bend your knees, then when you tuck underneath, what might happen is your pelvis will uh, tuck up into this very vulgar position, which we really want to avoid in Middle Eastern dance. So please make sure when you're doing any kind of pelvic tuck that you don't overextend and really tuck that underneath because it, it can become quite a nasty looking move. So if your legs are straight, hopefully that won't happen, just squeeze your bottom and bring your pelvis underneath. It feels a little bit like you're putting on a pair of pants and the pants are a little bit tight and you need to do up the zipper at the front. So think about that, it's like you're putting a pair of pants on, you want to do the zipper up and tuck your pelvis underneath. Okay. So this is actually the start of our belly pop move and then what we need to do is pop, pop and release the lower abdominals and the pelvis. Let the pelvis tilt back into your natural posture. Okay, so let's do this a couple of times. Just pop, 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 pop. You want to try and accent that and really just pop it out. Quite often uh, when I'm using this move, I'll be traveling or changing the weight of my feet and I will be up on relevé when I do that and I'll have one of my feet forward. Quite often, the foot that I'm putting the weight on when I'm popping my belly out is the one that's in front. So I will change my weight onto my front foot and at the same time pop my belly out. So if I'm back on my back foot, I suck everything in and then on the front foot, pop, 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 pop. Let me turn around so you can see what's happening. Legs are straight, up and releve, pop, 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 pop. Okay, so why don't we have a look at a drill for this one? Five, six, seven, eight, out, in, out, in, out, in, 